You ever just get so angry with somebody or agitated, you just want to go all MMA on them? In the red corner, all the really stupid people who get on my nerves and make me angry. I don't mean you just necessarily want to punch them, but maybe a good chokehold? Let's face it, sometimes people get on our nerves, just part of being human. And you know what? Getting a little mad or agitated doesn't make us bad. And it doesn't mean we've sinned. It's when we don't know how to handle it that we can start slipping into that sinful place. You know, the Bible says that we should pray for those who persecute us and love those who hate us. Let's face it, that's hard to do sometimes. But you know what? The Bible doesn't tell us that just so that we can be nice to everybody, but because if we follow the Scriptures and do those things, it draws us closer to God. And when we get closer to God, it's easier to do those things. You know what? Sometimes we're those people. Sometimes we're the one that agitates and gets on other people's nerves. You want them to choke you? Or you want them to pray for you? Pray for them. Today, you may be put in a situation where you have to be around the person that gets on your nerves the most. What are you going to do? Are you going to love them where they are? Or are you going to let yourself fall into a trap that not only keeps you from being obedient, but keeps you from being in a good relationship with Christ today? Love somebody. And you know what? If you're in their life and you see them today, take some time. You might ask them how they're doing. Who knows? Christ may have put you there to tell them his love, and you need to quit being agitated long enough to actually do it. Love them where they are. Because sometimes, I'm sure Jesus would like to put us in the chokehold, but he doesn't. And I'm glad. So share the love of Jesus today. Make a difference. Who knows? You might lead somebody to the Lord. And you might build a friendship or a relationship that you never knew.